Greetings, I am Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. It is my honor to recognize and celebrate Women's History Month and the extraordinary contributions women have made throughout history and to our nation and to the world. We have already begun our celebration by honoring the 100th year anniversary of the Women's Suffrage March of 1913, which reinvigorated the suffrage movement and helped pave the way for women's right to vote in 1920. Since then, women have and continue to make incredible progress. Through this progress, we have changed the course of American history. From pioneers like Shirley Chisholm, the first African-American woman elected to Congress, to our current minority leader, Nancy Pelosi, who also was the first female speaker of the House of Representatives. Women in our country continue to overcome obstacles and excel to greatness. Today, more than ever before, Women are playing a central role in the American economy. Women make up nearly 50% of our workforce, are a growing number of breadwinners in their families, and are the majority of students in our colleges and graduate schools. But now, women are at risk because of the impact of sequestration cuts. There will be a $29 million cut in domestic violence programs, resulting in up to 112,000 victims of domestic violence losing access to shelters and other services. These cuts will be devastating. Based on the projected Congressional Budget Office's statistics, women could lose more than 350,000 of the 750,000 jobs due to sequestration. Women small business owners could lose an estimated $1.3 billion in government contracts, jeopardizing the jobs of up to 15,000 employees. In order for our nation to keep moving forward, we must push for a fair and balanced economic plan that reduces the deficit while creating jobs, strengthening the middle class, and growing our economy. Sequestration makes these goals much more challenging. So I will continue to fight to protect the gains women have made and to improve the overall lives of women and families across America. The success of Americans' women is critical for the success of the American economy. God bless America and America's women.